glory of stalking in the British Isles is that our six species live in some wonderfully diverse places. Paul Childerly, normally found among the open field in search of Chinese water deer, the dense undergrowth for munchak and open woodland for fallow is enjoying a change of scene. A busman's holiday, if you like. We're in southern Scotland, Dunfries and Galloway. Among the conifer plantations and the hills, we're looking for red stags and billy goats, or as we like to call it, the Scottish ibex. Paul is being looked after by Zeiss pro stalker Colin Lockerby. Right, Paul, I think we'll have a quick look up the ride here. Yeah. We'll wander up the ride, out to the hill, and uh, work our way back along the hill, yeah. hopefully into the wind if it's still in the right direction. And um, just check all the high points up in the hill up there as we go. Yeah. Quite often there's a few just uh, on, the, on the fence line on the edge of the woodland as, yeah. we, as we head out there. So. Will they be like rutting yet, are they? Actually? Yeah, they've been roaring the last couple of days. Yeah. Um, the other two stalkers watched a couple of stags fighting yesterday, so oh, brilliant. Yeah, see yeah. something like brilliant, that. Yeah. Yeah. The weather won't put them off. So. Shouldn't do too much this time of the day. Yeah. Might not be a great lot of action later in the day. Yeah. But, uh, Hopefully tonight again we might see something else. Yeah. Brilliant job, yeah. yeah. Excellent, right. Cool. We're right on the cusp of the red rut, so who knows what might happen today. But this forest tree could conceal a stag, so Paul's told to be alert from the off. Paul has never shot a Scottish stag, so it's all to play for. At the top of the plantation, we spot a hind. There could be a stag waiting in the wings, so Paul gets on the sticks. Colin uses the trees as cover, and we move and scan the hill. More hinds. Might be a stag coming. Any hinds you see? It's worth just getting the rifle ready because there could be a stag falling yeah. and now they've all they're starting to group up with the stags. Yeah, because they kept looking back, didn't they? I thought there was something falling and yeah. the, the wee calf kept looking back. Looking back, yeah, yeah. Okay. Again, a stag might be close, but we never find out. However, something that is of interest are the wild goats up on the face of the hill. They're way up there, but Colin is happy for us to change our plan and head after a feral goat. And another first for Paul. How can you tell that one's a billy? The big grey one in the middle. Yeah. He's got a rougher beard and you can just see he's a bit bigger and bulky. Bigger, and bigger size than that, yeah, yeah. They all come in different colours, yeah? Different. Yeah, loads of uh, black and white, grey, some yeah. ginger ones and a yeah. mixture of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What are they, yeah. Mainly quite white or grey, they yeah. seem to be the main colours. They're the easiest ones to spot yeah. as well. Do they stay on the ground or do they like, keep moving through? Or? They're always on the move, but yeah, we hold uh, about 300 on the ground here. Usually. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. about 600 on the Galloway Hills there. Yeah. Reckon, but yeah. They're in fairly big groups at the minute. There's probably yeah, 20, that's a big group, 20 yeah. in that group, but sometimes up to a group of, a group of 80 has been seen. Really? Um, they don't do much damage at all? Well, in the winter time, if, if there's a lot of snow and frost, then it's too difficult for them to feed out there, they'll come into the trees. Yeah, so yeah. That's uh, when we've got to deal with They would damage them. these, though, would they? More the younger trees, is They'll it? all strip the bottoms of the trees. Really? Yeah, the bigger what, trees the, what, well. the bark off? Yeah, they'll strip the bark. Mm. There aren't that many places that you can hunt goats in the UK, but this is one of them. It's getting on a bit of time. I mean, still a chance of a stag, Colin was saying, but we actually changed the plan. We're going to go off and see if we can get one of these uh, goats. I've never shot a goat before, so i uh, never hunted it. Actually, I hunt, come up last year, didn't I? and um, went for a goat and I actually went right to the far top of the hill or mountain and back down and decided not to shoot them because they were all females, aren't they? Yeah. So, but... Well, I'm sure there's a billy goat in that group there, Paul. Yes. Yeah. We could try and get on him if, if, if we... Yeah, good. If we yeah. see him, if not... If not, we don't. Nanny's yeah. in the season if we want to take him. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, good. Nothing left depending on Yeah, that's, that's, a, yeah, that's quite nice, yeah. We keep glassing, but they feed up and over into the next valley and we need to push on after them. Using some boulders for cover, we make a plan. It's just come from that rock. Down there about, about 600 metres, I think it is. Across here, get back up on the bank. The 
coats have gone over the top of this brow, hopefully. And on the edge of this bowl that Colin was on the back. Um, some rocks on the ship, the sheer rock face down there, little sheer rock faces, which they sit upon in the day. Um, so hopefully we get up on the top here, crawl in, and spawn the bowl and on this side these rock faces, and hopefully we'll get a shot. Okay. The wind is strong and Colin and Paul want to get as close as possible. Paul has shot the heavy barrelled Seiko 85 with Stalin moderator with Seiko hammerhead 150 grain rounds out to 300 yards on the range, but he'd like it closer than that. Goats have a reputation for being easy to hunt, but if a world champion kickboxer is puffing then it must be reasonably tough. Not bad for you. that's for sure. My god, it's like walking on that much moss and grass, so every time you put your foot down, your foot gives away. Serious training, love it. That's what it's about. Working hard. At last we catch up with the herd. Paul and Colin move forward to take a look. Paul protects the binos by popping them in his Shooter King smock pocket before the crawl. The group's split into two, and the, there's two billies on the left-hand side, two black and a, and a black and white one. And then in the right-hand group, there's a, a, a rock-coloured one, real matted old hair on it, really matted. Um, so we're going to try for that. It's quite, a, it's a reasonable shot, a long shot. But uh, I'm happy, so we'll give, give that one a go. It's about 280. 280, is it? 280. Okay. To the, to the big grey one, Paul, the in the middle. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that is serious. I've been doing a bit of practice with the 308, um, not more than my normal calibre. And um, yeah, I knew I was going to get caught out with a longer shot. And I knew the weather's always harsh up here, well, really harsh and windy. And uh, yeah, that was, a, uh, that was unbelievable. That was really, really, really tough with that shot. Unbelievable. So yeah, so I've been at the range and I zeroed it in at 100, but then I tried to do some a bit further distance shooting. Um, Obviously with a 308 he's still got the killing power out of distance. So yeah, great. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm quite glad I carried this heavy barrel up here now. Because uh, this is a this is an 85 farming wooden obviously. And uh, it, it, it is good for longer distance shooting. You've got the stability and uh, you're on the bipod, good stability and uh, nice and steady, so you, you're more confident of the longer shots. Um, I've got a, a Conquest DL on it, um, not ideal, but again, it's clear, nice fine dot. exit wound a touch high a little bit high um, but um, it's so thick on the other side you can't actually find the uh, entrance wound but yeah there's the exit wound yeah really pleased with that the opportunity for the red stags didn't happen so we, we switched on and, and went after the goats um, the, Colin spotted a group of goats up here and he said you know there's a, there's a, there's a male up there he, he don't mind shooting so uh, yeah so we went after it and we, we're happy to get a result, like well, I am anyway. So after a long walk and a good, uh, a good push up the hill, 
They're great. So now I think he's back for uh, a cup of tea and some, some breakfast. It's not a medal, but it's Paul's first and one to remember. If you want to find out more about red deer and goat stalking with Colin, contact him through Solway Stalking on Facebook.